Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4, Mandate of Heaven as Manchu. We are trying to get our financial situation in a good spot, which we're doing somewhat okay right now. Got to uh, embrace uh, technology still. We are 37% in the penalty for global trade, but it is, uh, it is spreading. So hopefully it'll spread quickly enough that we can embrace that without costing us too much. Um, don't currently have a mission selected. Placate Ming. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get Ming uh, to like us a little bit more. So, improve relations. We're at 45. Wow. Wait a minute. Something just weirded out for a second. Could have sworn it said 45 like a second ago. Well, we'll improve relations anyway to see what happens. Um. Choose a new idea group, which uh, we got a little bit of extra diplo power right now. I mean, I say we have extra. We're technically behind in the uh, technology side of things, but if we take any more, then we'll be unbalanced, and uh, that would cost us a lot of money. So, don't really want to do that. Is there anything diplo wise that I would want to take? Influence, not really relevant. Uh, maritime, also not especially relevant. Trade ideas would be a way to make some money. Would be a way to make some money. Um, diplo ideas, more diplomats. I don't know that I need that. And then spies, espionage. Again, I'm not sure if I'm too worried about that. So if I went anything, it'd be trade ideas. It gives us a lot of extra merchants, which again, maybe it would uh, be a way to set, fix some of our money issues. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just get the Diplo idea. And uh, I was going to save up for the uh, admin, but I still know that we're going to be able to wait around for that. So, all right. And then we're going to go ahead and take the global trade power, which we're currently at, what, 12.96. So this would put us up to, I guess we'll find out. Don't want to take the second one. Probably not yet, although that would be another merchant. You know what, we're going to have a long time to wait before we get the admin caught back up, so let's just eat the extra merchant. Why not? It's a gamble, but I think it's uh, something we should at least try. Alright, so on the trade side of things, we are currently collecting trade in Nippon, which may or may not be a good idea, but it is, you know, a, a good node to, uh, to collect from in general, just because it's got, you know, more gold than our <laughs> other good node up here. Um... Ming is currently moving a lot of gold that direction, so we actually would prefer to move gold towards Nippon. So if we did this, transfer trade power, uh, and this new guy, maybe he would transfer some trade power down to Nippon? Yeah, because five ducats is going out. And then we're also collecting currently trade power in Beijing, which... Actually, maybe I would rather... I don't know what we're going to do. Let's unpause and see what this does. Okay, so it actually is still transferring trade the same direction as Beijing, just because I'm collecting over there. But maybe it adds a little bit of a multiplier over there and gives us a little bit more money. We were at, what, 12.96? Now we're at 14.73? It's something. Um, do I have enough provinces? I think I have one province in Beijing. There's literally no point in changing our node to there main trading port there we got to move our main trading port somewhere that's that's good which probably means actually you know what we have more of Beijing than I thought we have all of this don't we I mean that's a thing how much do we have right now trade power in Beijing we have 65.1 so we're just this little tiny slice partly because of Um, some of our ships and things like that that are in this area. I mean, do I move my main trading port here? It just seems like a, such a weird idea. I don't even have a coastal province or anything. I think we'll just leave it where it's at for now. Uh, I can invest in new technology, which is just the military one. I don't want to do that because that would get us unbalanced. I can get advisors... 
think everything else looks okay. Spare unit types. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. That must have been the cannons. I wonder how long that's been there. I probably wasn't paying attention. It's been there a whole, whole time. Um, how are we looking on the ships? Where are our ships? There they are. So we're at 40 of 40. Of course, five of those are these, uh, these transport ships over here. Which is fine. Could split off a couple of these to go exploring. Might be worth something. Um, don't want to do that. I'm assuming these guys can't explore, can they? Must have an explorer leading this navy in order to be able to send it on exploration missions. Three light and heavy ships in this navy in this fleet to be able to explore with it. Okay, so we need three. You know what? Just because it sounds like something somewhat fun and interesting to do. Let's stop you where you're at, or wherever you're going. Let's, uh... Right, let's get over there. Alright, there you go. So split off three ships. You guys come over here and dock in. We'll get you a leader, and then you guys can go back on protecting trade in Beijing. Like that is the best one and go home at war and that should be fine all right so let's get us a an explorer not a conquistador an explorer why not do something different for once all right mr explorer now, let's go explore something. We're not going to circumnavigate, so let's just do... Sure, south... Not there. No, not that one. Why is it not letting me cancel my mission? You guys. Nope, cancel your mission. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's dumb. It was a misclick. Why are you not letting me cancel your mission? Seriously. Why are you not letting me cancel your mission? I literally misclicked the wrong thing. Come on now. Oh, those guys are dead. Because they're just going to go get lost somewhere. Which is really dumb. What if I just get rid of your leader? No, I don't want to disband you. Alright, this is really silly that it's just not letting me do anything. Alright, well those guys are lost. Because they're just going to get out there and get themselves damaged and gone. So, that was a misclick that cost me three ships. Which is... A bit frustrating that I cannot cancel that mission. I'm not gonna lie. Frustrating and silly. Oh well. Alright, what am I gonna do with my military side of things? Uh, I guess they're fine where they're at. Um, none of the rebels are anything to worry about right this second, so we'll just let it go. Getting a core right now. Do I have a free diplomat, but I don't know that I really care. Having free to do something is probably fine. Um, where were we at on... So what was the mission thing that I needed to do? Oh, no current mission. Oh, so it like, gave me a mission then it just like, went away completely because I already had what I needed. Yep, you're about to die. Goodbye. Sorry. Wish I could help you. Not much I can do, though. Family ties. What? Pause. Um, oh, golden era for culture. Get a two. Get a skill two. 
artist in this in Girin. 50% cheaper. All right. And then gain some Diplo power. Okay, that's a thing. Guess we'll go ahead and recall you. It's fine. You've already maxed out. Let's go over here to the diplomacy thing. Let's just uh, uh, just improve on neighboring countries. That's fine. In fact, let's go ahead and send both of you guys out. That'll be all right. Buy ships. Already at 70%. They're gonna die. Oh, 59%. That's <laughs> so silly. Oh well. Yeah, and I wish I could do something about it, but I can't. Like, literally nothing I can do about it. Except watch you sail off into the sunset and never to come back. Yashikul is now part of our territory. Where is Yashikul? Yashikul is... So we're down here? Not right there. Um, got a couple colonies going. That's good. Missionary's going. Okay. Goodbye. Almost gone. Oh, down to one. And there go our ships because they're just silly. I still can't believe you couldn't cancel it. There's probably a way to cancel it somehow. I, I could not figure it out, and that was just seemed a little weird. What are the great powers? Ming. Ming is the greatest power, which makes some sense. All right, well then, let's just get three more ships then, because why not? Let's just throw more money at the problem. Ships. Uh, are they frigates? I don't know, whatever. One, two, three. We'll try this again. Do I keep my leader at least? Probably not. It's probably lost. Nope. Did not keep the leader. That's so silly. <laughs> I really it was silly and frustrating. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are there any good buildings to build? Religious migration. Um I just want to pause you. Sure, we'll just gain a permanent base tax. That's fine. 0.08 is not terrible. 0.15. Let's do that. What about you guys? 0.06, not quite good enough. Marketplace, eh, not, it's kind of hard to read that one. None of these other ones jumping out at me, and then these down here are too expensive. Do the 0.08s, but I think anything just 0.1 and higher is probably what I'm looking for. So yeah, that's fine. We'll take that first one. Get us a little bit more money. Let's get up to that 400, 500, whatever. We'll go ahead and maybe do one of the uh, manufactory as well. All right, we're at 198 with this guy Tildor are you gonna like not let me do this do the thing again still what was I looking for make a vassal yeah you, you were gonna let me be your vassal or make a make you a vassal out of you for you know a while ago but uh the rep wasn't high enough so I married you and all this other stuff and then now you won't let me do it at all um what about over here Chagatai, you are my vassal. What is your rep? Pretty low. So we gotta wait for a lot of the stuff to burn off before we can even do anything with uh, bringing you into the empire. Literally zero horde unity. But that's alright. The national unrest, I mean the discipline hurts the most. The national unrest is being counteracted by a lot of other stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. If that's a new idea, I'm not going to do that. Close to being able to do the tech. I 
which are these buildings? 536. I mean, I need to save up for the technology, but honestly, I'd rather just start making money. <laughs> we'll deal with technology later. It's a little frustrating to save up for the technology and then have the next era start again and then you're back right where you started again, you know, where you're still in the negative. So, uh, and then I'm still not making money because I spent all that money on the technology. So I think at this point I just make money. And the technology will take care of itself at some point, I believe. All right, ships are back. All right, you little ships. Just get grouped up in one spot. We're going to get you another leader because I'm determined to do that and not make the same stupid mistake, I hope. They really shouldn't put it at the top of the list. I mean, come on now. All right, give you an explorer. I'm going to click very carefully. Select mission. Explore. Not the top one. In fact, you know what? We're going to go all the way down to the bottom one. Uh, do I want to do that? Probably not. We'll just start here. South China Sea. Done. That looks safe. Rival of our rival. Um, go improve with Ottomans? Sure. Uh, since you're already returning, how about you come all the way back? Let's go find the Ottomans. Days. There we go. Prove relations. How much are we proved? Oh, we're already at 97. So we actually have to do some special stuff to be able to get them up higher. I don't know that we can. And he actually wants my provinces. You're not even touching my provinces. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, do you want the ones over here? Oh my goodness, that's the Ottomans right there. Oh, hello, Ot wow. That is crazy that the Ottomans came all the way over here to get this little landmass. And down here. Wow, the Ottomans have been busy. Interesting. All right, well, we'll improve for a little bit and we'll see what else we can do. That is very interesting. Uh, let's maintain for a little bit longer. Probably not much we can do about that mission then. If he actually legitimately wants my, my land masses. My territories. Conversion successful. Jerem. So that should get rid of the Jerem guys. Yep, they're going to go away. It's really just these Yarkin guys. But they're almost within range to drop uh, 20 troops on top of them. And... Um be done with it all right missionary what do you want to send you next definitely don't want to send you to any of these places so Jude sounds good we need how much to get this technology 492 exploration finished good so how are your ships looking Still full. All right, then you can go and explore something else. Explore Western Indian Ocean. Um, how about East China Sea? Sounds good. Keep you in the Chinese area. Traveling minstrel. Gain some admin power or prestige. We'll take the admin power. In fact, that's going to be very close to helping us get our technology. In fact, that right there did. So yeah, we'll take the admin technology um, just to be able to take some of these other ones. That, that's going to help us out a lot. Let's just give us Force March. Eh, that's a thing. This enables us to go ahead and take the muskets, cavalry shock, and supply limit. I guess we don't have to take right away, but we might as well. What does it mean? It means that, what, 19? 20 on the military. Yeah, we got to take something. We got to get caught back up. We'll take the Diplo here in a moment. 
fact, we should go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we're making some money and hire these guys out. Um, trade efficiency. I like that. Probably will pay for himself in the grand scheme of things. Uh, morale of armies. Land maintenance modifier. Let's take the land maintenance. Again, sort of pay for yourself a bit. Even though the morale army is, is really nice. I kind of want these guys to pay for themselves to, you know, be okay with having them. Uh, we could drop inflation when actually we probably should. So we need 75 Diplo, or Admin, I mean. We can do that. Ah, less corruption. Nice. We actually had a leader that was corruptible before and it cost us a whole lot of money. So having less corruption is uh, is very convenient. Oh, is it not? Oh, it's only if she's in charge, right? Okay, if she becomes ruler. Okay, or he, I should say. That's my error. Alright, explore is done. Everybody's 100%. Go explore. Um, East China Sea, the sea. Yeah, you're a tribute, that's fine. It's minus 10% discipline. It's really gonna hurt a lot. Literally nothing we can do about it though. All right, our exploration finished. On that note, we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me next time. Thank you and goodbye.